There's a driver being sued for a deadly crash that killed a mob. That driver is now also facing charges in that debt. The driver was towing a large excavator on I-25 in Weld County. That's when the excavator hit an overpass. And large pieces of concrete fell on the road, hitting and killing a young mom. Nine News crime and justice reporter Matt Jablo is following the story and joins us with details on the new charges. Matt. Kim, it took several months, but felony charges have now been brought against the truck driver accused of causing a crash that killed 32-year-old Megan Arneson. The crash happened last August on I-25 in Weld County. The truck driver, Darnell Yingling, was pulling an excavator at the time. When the truck went under an overpass, the excavator's arm hit the overpass's concrete cross beams, sending large pieces of debris onto Arneson's SUV. Arneson died. Her 10-year-old son, who was also in the car, was injured. The Weld County DA has now charged Yingling with four criminal counts, including vehicular homicide. Nine News legal analyst Scott Robinson says that is likely the most serious charge that could have been brought in this case. Typically, uh, an accident that sounds more like carelessness uh, is not charged as vehicular homicide. So there must be significant evidence that the driver consciously disregarded a substantial risk of harm to others in the way that he either secured the load or the way that he chose to drive where there wasn't enough room to get under the overpass. If convicted of vehicular homicide, Yingling faces up to 12 years in prison. He's also been charged with criminally negligent homicide and reckless driving. He's due back in court on June 2nd. Soon after she was killed, Arneson's family sued Yingling and the towing company he worked for. The lawsuit says Yingling and the company were reckless and negligent for not making sure the excavator was properly secured. That lawsuit is still ongoing. Kim and Tom. A terrible case. We'll follow right. it through. All right. Thank you, Matt.